carpet cleaner do the most inappropriate acts here in our target house. This tradesman was meant to be cleaning our carpets, but so far we have seen him systematically examine and sniff items of our actress's underwear. He eventually sniffed and examined four different items. He went through a sports bag and found more underwear and sniffed her underwear and her bra. He opens her wardrobe and has a look in there and then he inspected the top cupboard. Next he went through not one, not two, but all three drawers of the dresser. Then it's back to the laundry basket where he removes a pair of her underwear. Remember he's only been in the house for around 12 minutes at this stage. He went through another chest of drawers, also opening and examining the contents of all four drawers and two of her bags at the door while sniffing the underwear. After logging on and watching pornography for 10 minutes and sniffing our actress's underwear, he undid his pants and knelt in front of the computer and started playing with himself. He took one, two, three, four more sniffs before finishing on them two minutes later. He logged on to pornographic sites another two times, playing with himself while staring at the pornographic images on both occasions. This seems so premeditated, so calculating that it's disturbing. It looks like he feels free to do anything in another person's home. It's so casual, it makes us wonder if he's done this kind of thing before and how often. When we left him, he was erasing the browsing history on the computer before unplugging the internet connection. Next, he washes his hands and actually does some work in the lounge, then treats the stain in the bedroom before locking up and leaving. Well, thank goodness he's gone. Shortly after viewing the footage, Target decided to get the New Zealand police involved because of the extreme nature of his behaviour. We were concerned that this tradesman may behave like this in other people's homes. We also wondered what would have happened if our actress had returned home and disturbed him. We were also extremely worried that he puts the soiled underwear back in the laundry basket. We also let his employer know who took immediate steps to get him off the road and out of other clients' homes. The CEO gave us the following statement. Needless to say, I am disgusted and shocked at the uncouth antics of the person caught on tape. He fully deserves to be exposed for what he did while placed in a position of trust. This technician was immediately dismissed and it pleases me to know the police are now investigating this matter. The company also refunded the $160 we paid to get the carpet clean in the first place. And as this is a police matter, we dealt with them rather than the tradesperson. We can confirm the police have laid two charges. One, burglary, as he was somewhere without the owner's consent and willfully accessing a computer without permission. The police have collected evidence from Target, our footage for a start, the soiled underwear for a DNA check and they'll do a forensic examination of our computer to see what websites he was on and what he was looking at. Depending on what they find, more charges could potentially be laid. So how can you protect yourself and your family from this kind of behaviour? Put passwords on computers to protect your privacy